Hello again, everybody. This is Michael. K-E-4-E-S-T. Okay, where we left off last time in part two, we were in right here. Um, and I was showing you how to rename stuff and whatever. So let's just pick back up with that. We're here in this, um, say this one here. And just real quickly, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory, but let's just kind of go over it. Um, here I am on 125 West, KU. Um, and if you scan yours in, you will see that mine's already been reordered here. And renamed and all that. Um, because this PBS Kids right here will scan in as HD06, I think. And... This one's 01, this one's 02, this is SD07-FNX or something like that. Uh, this one says SD something world. So the only one actually scanned in, you know, properly is this one here. It says Montana PBS. But uh, anyway, so this East, we'll just quickly go over here again. This East, if you want to rename it, go to it. Hit your right arrow to come over here and go down to the little notepad and pencil thing there. Click on it. And here you can mess around, move it around, you know, the and change it. And you got your capitals and your lowercase and your symbols and numbers and other things there. Um, and change it like you want. And then when you get done, you just come down over here and hit OK. OK, and then say I didn't want the PBS East up there so I go over here to move click OK on that on the remote and then I come down and I just move it where I want it and you can see it's moving and then hit OK again now PBS East is at the bottom and it's going to be that way when you go into when you're watching TV and you've got it set for just this satellite and you hit the OK button to bring up the list of channels now PBS East will be on the very last one and this is kind of not too bad. We got only got eight channels right here. Not a big deal. But when you got something that's got twenty and thirty channels, you know, or something like that, you're kind of going to go want to go through. It's kind of nice to have the ones you usually watch the most or you care about the most, you know, up on top. So, um, usually in this house, let's just put PBS East back up there. Now, by the way, I could cancel out of this and nothing is saved yet until I'm done but I'm gonna go ahead and move it back up there just to show you again now I can go here and lock the channel uh, lock it out and then when you go into your list you won't see it. it's there but you won't see it and you have to come back in here to unlock it if there's you know say you're scanning around and find some adult channels or something like that and your kids are watching it you know in your living room they got PBS and whatever what well, if they're just messing with the remote and hey the other night I blind scanned in some adult channel over on something or whatever and you don't want them to find that um, just in case it's still unscrambled and still there um, it's a good idea to lock it out and then of course you can delete it um, and I had some in here um, but say there's something down here at 0009 that said something that scanned in it was scrambled or something that was just a one time thing. A wild feed or something that's gone down you want to delete you can highlight it and hit delete and it'll be gone. Okay and then when you're uh, done with everything if you hit menu and say are you sure you want to save and of course I didn't really change anything but I'm going to say yes, it's going to save. So everything's saved, it's done. Okay? Now another thing I wanted to show you, hit menu again, like I said before, is hit menu to go back one step. Let's go into installation here, and satellite installation. And say, okay, let's just pick this one, let's stay with this one, 125 West KU. And for some reason, you're not getting to blind scan in, but everybody on the forums you're reading says there's a transponder with something on it. Maybe your dish is not tuned really good, or you got a kind of a small dish, so you kind of. Well, I'd like to get it put in, you know, and so you can go and tweak with your dish or whatever and try to see if you can get a signal on it. 
but it's not going to blind scan in because your you know your dish is off or your dish is a little bit too small so you want to kind of go over there and mess with it over here if you look over on the right you'll see again the yellowish orange button there but it's yellow on the remote it says TP edit so it's transponder edit so if you'll push right now on the remote hit the yellow button now we've come up to this okay so here's the transponder and while I'm at it I'll go ahead and say right here say you know sometimes you've got an older LNB or something it's not coming in quite right or it's kind of breaking up a little bit sometimes you can go in as a lot of you know and you can just move it just a little bit and see how it's still locking right there the receiver can still lock that it's got a spread on it it can lock you know a few megahertz each way so it's you know it's still catching it right here and sometimes you'll have something that at 1280 what well, it's supposed to be it's not exactly staying whatever you can go in here and you can change it there of course you know so we're into editing it you can edit the symbol rate the same way you can do whatever you can change it to horizontal you know if you wanted to for whatever reason of course now it's like hey it's not there <clears throat> but you can do all that let's put that back let's say there's that transponder that you're wanting to add to it you know so you can go tune your dish or whatever you're going to take your receiver and your tv out to the dish or whatever if you look over you know you're probably already ahead of me if you're paying attention over on the right hand side it says add just hit the green button for add now we can add transponder now you can do like this if you first start you'll you'll come up with like 13 yeah 13 500 um, and then it flips around to 3000 but you can sit here and do this I'm pushing the right arrow for days because <laughs> say we wanted 12 170 um, it's going to take us forever to get 1217. Of course, it'd be quicker if we flopped it around this way, but it's still going to take forever. So, on the remote, on your keypad on top of the remote, you can just type in 12170. And there you got it. And then, say the symbol rate was 20,000, you can just type in 20000. Okay. And at this point, you notice it changed down there when it gets past you know at 2000 I already tried it so well, maybe that's it let's try to scan it now and then of course here you can change it to vertical horizontal you know but now we've added this transponder when we hit menu okay I hit menu now and it says are you sure you want to save because I hit exit or anything else it's gonna you know cancel all of that and I'll say yes I do want to save okay now we have that in there, but of course that ain't you know a proper transponder for this satellite. So let's go in again. You've got some stuff you want to delete, some transponders you just want to get rid of. And again, hit the yellow button. Hit the yellow button again. If you look on the right hand side, it says delete or delete all. Now delete all works too. If you hit blue and I say yes, it'll just wipe out every transponder in there if you want to start over from scratch. If you hit yellow, are you sure you want to delete this one transponder that we got lit up right here now? Yes. Okay, now we're back to this one. Well, another one, but we're on this one now. If you wanted to delete that one, you would do the same thing. So that's uh, adding in transponders and uh, deleting transponders and all that. Okay. Uh, another quick thing I wanted to kind of go over um, in this video. I mean, a lot of this stuff pretty much, if you're been if you had your receiver for a while and you made it to this video here you're starting to get pretty much get a you know feel for it and you can go to any of this stuff over here i've not covered and mess with it um like you see on the right hand side of the screen well, what does this do let's say you know you're not really going to hurt anything you know unless you go and do a you know a save and that's what we're going to do right now let's hit menu again get out of here and get out of this one Let's go over. Now your screen may look a little bit different than this one. Um, because I've got a different version here. If you go to system. Okay. And. But this will all be the same. You go over here to software upgrade. Okay. Um, now let's do default setting first. Say you go in. 
and you get let's go do default setting first you get all the satellites programmed and you want say so you go in and you don't like the satellites a certain way and you want to change satellites and satellite names and blah 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 um, so you change all that so you've got you've added a satellite you've got some transponders in there this that and the other. it's not gonna save the channels <coughs> excuse me it's not gonna save the channels but it's gonna save the satellite names you've got set the satellite positions like if it's 125 west 127 west it's gonna save uh, the transponders like I said um, but say you ever get to a point you have to do a factory reset your box gets all messed up and combobulated and it don't know what's going on so you, I just want to do a reset but if you do a reset it's going to reset right back to the factory just like you got it and if you got it from somewhere a lot of times it'll have you know it'll come right back to the um, you know European satellite list or something now if you get one from me it's going to come back uh, with North American satellite list but just the way you got it when you got it uh, but say you get everything like you want it and you want to save it okay if you go down here it says save default value you hit save and yes I want to save and that's all hitting the OK button on the remote burn flash not power off success now it's saved now if I go up here and say default value which is the way to reset the box back to factory um, and the password zero 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 and you put that password in it's going to go through and reset back to where it was at okay uh, but anyway so there's how to do that and let's go to software upgrade even though we're going to do a save we're going to, everything's under what they call software upgrade and let's see here uh, hang on just a second now if you see this you see it says uh, upgrade is it gonna let me it's not gonna let me yeah uh, see anything blue it's not gonna let me hit um, I can't upgrade by USB why can't I do that because there's not a USB drive in there or there's not a thumb drive so I walked away a little bit from the microphone if you can still hear me I'm gonna go over here plug maybe I can get this thing the right way around. All right. I just plugged in a USB thumb drive. Okay. Now there you go. That way, if you see that, you'll. Well, why can't I? Work? Oh, got to put in a USB thumb drive, or it could be a hard drive, an externally powered external hard drive. Um, you get to you know actual hard drive hard drive like you know if you're going to be recording and stuff like that and you can use the same hard drive you use for recording if you want to make some backups or this or that or the, whatever you can do it on the USB hard drive but uh, I always get you one of those externally powered USB hard drives um, but let's go to back up to USB okay and of course the file path is going to be you know what it is um, now if you've got two drives plugged in you can pick A or B but we're going to say A okay user disk A so UDA and then down here here's the file it's going to call it so right now it's saying because I'm shooting this video right now if you look at past the BAK thing 2017-0903 September the 3rd at 4 o'clock in the morning okay that's fine if that's the way you, you know, if it's a good way for you to keep it in your head that way. But what if you don't like the way that does that? What if you want to call it something else? What if you want to change that so it's something more easier for you to remember? Because believe me, when you get a bunch of these and you look and they all say BAK 2017 something, something, something. And you're like, well, which one was it? You're scratching your head. Uh, which one was it? That, uh, see the one I had the other day that I liked really let's see because some people you know do this a lot if you do a lot a lot a lot of line scanning and uh, stuff and some people say I wouldn't back it maybe once every six months but uh, so no big deal but if you do a lot and you want to change this something that you can remember because everybody's pro thought processes work different so something that you as an individual can remember the way you want it just hit okay right here okay and come over here to this 
funky little thing here and if I can get my mouse on it um, get back over there and we get rid of that okay now backspace all the way out things why did my my recorder's glitching that's not the receiver anyway it's backspaced out okay now you want to call it I'm gonna call it let's just call it and if you want lower case, you can go down I'm gonna call it video video space um, to lost my train of thought here or lost where it was at. okay here it is use over here here's another thing you can flip on around from k to there if you're at k just hit left again to come down the other side video tutorial and because i'm doing a video tutorial and we'll say it is on nine oh three now i could have done a little better could put a hyphen in there could, but you get the idea because um, that's kind of aesthetically displeasing to me there. Anyway, and don't get this name too long. Um, don't get it too crazily long. Because uh, when you go in to make a, a restore from a backup, it'll only show so many characters on screen for it just cuts the rest of them all. So if you've got a bunch of stuff like this is my backup, you know, <laughs> So you want to put a sentence, this is my backup file for, and then you put the date. Every one of you look at it's going to say, this is my backup file for, or it may even cut off a little bit before that. And you can't even read the dates. You don't know what, you can flip through every one of them. You're like, well, which one's which? Um, so try to keep them short. And when you back up, you can back up everything, or you can back up just the channel list. Let's say we'll just back up everything. It's, it's usually quick and painless, and that gets you know everything backed up you've got a copy in case something goes wrong then we'll go down hit back up to USB and it's going to go through and do it and say successful and it's on there now okay let's hit menu and let's go to upgrade by USB and of course we're still on drive A now here again we got now we can hit OK right here if you want to and it'll bring up a list and you can see it's only got so far to go before it's going to run out. But if we go through and find it, there it is. Video tutorial. And you see how I renamed some other stuff too. And see how these backups kind of start running together. And you have to really think about it. Okay, 2016, 2017, what date? And if you ain't get your clock set properly, that's another thing. It's going to go way off. Uh, that's really going to confuse you. Um, so, uh, you know, I think the default starts out like 2011 or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so here's the one we want right here. Now, once we, you know, we backed up everything. But we can just do just software, no channel list. But we really don't want that. There, I mean, there's some cases, say, I would want to use that as, you know, I'm setting up receivers to sell them or whatever. But there's no reason you would want it. You can re just restore your channel list right here. It's upgrade mode. Um, now this is if you really make a big goof and you want to start from scratch this is here's what you would use right here take that and all software plus the bootloader and let's just start over um, all software and channel list you know and so forth most of the time you just want to back up the channel list I just want to restore my channel list I save my channel list now and restore it you know um, so you go down here and start and you know, go through and do its thing and the receiver will reboot when it gets done. I don't want to go through because the receiver reboots it that uh, causes my recorder to kick off here. But anyway, so there's that. Um, this video's kind of run a little bit long, but that's okay. Um, uh, was there anything else I was kind of... I guess that what I'll do is this, this is video number three in the tutorial of the series and I'll 
go from any comments or anybody emails me, you know, I'll look at them and think about it. And as I come across, if I say, oh, I should have went over this, or oh, I should have went over that. Or I missed this, I kind of, I, I really want to touch on this. I'll just make a conclusion, you know, of the series and just kind of go over a couple of things that I missed or whatever, if I find anything. But anyway, I hope this video has helped somebody out. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, you can email me. You can you can comment down in the uh, down below the video here. You can put down you know what, just comment on it or ask a question. You can email me um, anything like that. I'll be glad to answer any questions or help anybody out. But with that, I'll wrap this video up. And as always, thanks everybody for watching. If you hadn't subscribed, reach down and hit that subscribe button down there. Or you can see my call sign down at the very bottom uh, right of the screen. Just kind of hover your mouse over my call sign. It'll pop up. Go over and hit subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. And until next time, this is Michael. KE4EST. 73, everybody.